Hello, my name's Dr Sarah Evans and I'm a lecturer at Wrexham Glyndwr University and I'm also the co coordinator of our Intense project. When I've um, interviewed social enterprises in the UK and analysed the data from all of our partner organisations, it's really clear that social enterprises are exporting their goods and services and operating internationally in many, many different ways. These methods include things like franchising, licensing, partnerships, direct export, direct import, um, such as fair trade. We've also got really good examples of cross-border communities in places like Northern Ireland and in the Baltic states. Um, we've also got a really good example in Italy where they're exporting um, cultural heritage tours to um, Argentinian communities that have Italian heritage and that is um, a really growing social enterprise. All of the different methods of it trading internationally have advantages and disadvantages and you really need to look at these very carefully. Many have chosen to um, projects and partnerships as their first foray into international trading and this seems to be a way of not using too many resources and establishing those overseas connections. However, it can take a long time to establish relationships with the right partner and sometimes that can be difficult. As a social enterprise, you need to find the right way for the goods or services that you're trying to sell or you're trying to import. And um, these will vary as well, depending on the enterprising or the commercial focus of your products and services, and maybe on the social aspects that you're trying to achieve.